Hello and welcome to the first segment of Baking with Katie. Today we're going to be making um, pumpkin pie sweet potato pancakes. So I do use sweet potato, not just pureed pumpkin, but they taste just like pumpkin pie. It's super good, really cinnamony, good for the fall. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first you're going to have about 18 ounces of sweet potato. I just bake it and then I throw it into the food processor, blender, whatever you have to kind of mash it up. So that's what this orange mixture is. I just wanted to do that before the video. That way I wasn't making a ton of noise. I'm going to dump that into my bowl. And then I'm going to add one can of pumpkin, just regular pumpkin, um, no sugar in it, ideally organic. Okay. And then I'm going to put in two cups of cottage cheese. So if you don't eat dairy, you can't eat dairy, um, you can use any kind of, I don't know if you want to use like almond yogurt, coconut yogurt, anything that still gives it some like gushiness so it'll all stay together. Personally, I don't have any problem digesting dairy. Um, plus the cottage cheese that I choose, it's um, cultured. So this is just like the kind that I use and make sure it's organic. Um, again, I won't get fat free. They didn't have 4% at the store, so I got 2%. Um, and then I'm going to put in the oil. I'll do a mix of coconut oil and almond oil, or almond butter normally. So that's what this is. I measured it all out. Um, the recipe is below, so you can look at all of the measurements there. Just dump that in there. Um, and then again, all my dry ingredients I measured out already. I just put it in here. So that's going to be the stevia, the baking powder. Um, I did not measure out the psyllium husk. So since this is a flour-free, grain-free um, recipe, I use psyllium husk to boost up the fiber. It's also a really good binder. So instead of using like xanthan gum or anything that they put in like commercial baked goods, gluten-free baked goods to keep them together, I'll just use psyllium husk. It's like you're getting a double bang for your buck. It really does absorb a lot of the moisture though. That's why I like to use the cottage cheese or yogurt or something like that to really help keep it moist. I just put eight tablespoons in there. And then I'm going to put in some liquid stevia too. Um, you can get this basically anywhere. Some people don't like stevia. I was using urethritol for a while. It's a sugar alcohol. It has no effect on your blood sugar, so it's really good for diabetics. Um, it's just a calorie-free sweetener. But some people can't tolerate um, sugar alcohols in their digestion either. It makes them really bloated, really gassy. So I was finding that it actually wasn't... Um, this is vanilla. Wasn't reacting right with my body, so I just stopped using it all together. And stevia works just as well. Um... And then I'm going to use some pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have that, it's just a mixture of cinnamon, um, nutmeg, ginger, and allspice. So you can just use those four. I'm going to put in two tablespoons. You can put in more or less to your taste. I mean, personally, I love all of those spices. I The more ginger, the better. Some people hate ginger. So you can kind of cater it to whatever you like. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to put in um, vegan protein powder. Two packets of these. Each one's about 20 grams of protein. I mean, again, if you have a certain protein powder that you like to use, if you want to use whey, if you want to use um, a rice protein powder, whatever it is. I just do this because it does, once you start to mix it, start to get a little runny, uh, especially if you're trying to make pancakes. This kind of helps thicken it up, takes the place of the um, flour. Also gives you a little extra protein in there, too. So then I'm just going to mix this all up. This is the worst part. I mean, it's fun. It gives you an extra arm workout, I guess. I could use the electric mixer, but it's all the way up there, and I don't want to get it down. So I'm going to keep mixing this, and I'm Okay, so now I'm all done mixing. Um, I'm going to turn on the sto stove top, get a regular pan, um, put oil in it. Um, personally, I like to use coconut oil, 
Um, you can use butter too, as long as it's grass-fed organic butter. Um, saturated fats are normally good for cooking over high heat, so if you're trying to use olive oil, avocado oil, anything like that, it's usually better for um, colder things, for salads, um, just because of the structure of the fats. So, this is my mixture. You can't really see it. Um, it is a little green. I forgot to mention that I did add some wheat, uh, powdered wheatgrass in there, but you really don't taste it at all. Um, I just put it in there because I like it. So I normally measure up about a quarter cup, drop it in the pan. Um, you don't have to measure it. I personally just like to know exactly how much is in each pancake. I'm really big on portion control, knowing exactly what you're eating. So once the pan gets hot enough, and you should... Feel the heat. Just gonna scoop it on in to the pan. So it is gonna be a little bit cookie-like. It's really dense, not super, um, what is it, runny like regular pancake mix. So what I try to do is just push it down. I mean, it doesn't look appetizing here at all. I understand that. But they taste really good. Um, I eat these for breakfast like every other morning. And it's really easy, too, because you can make a huge batch like this at night. Um, put it in the freezer, and then you just take them out when you're ready for breakfast. The reason why they're so thick like this, too, is the psyllium husk. It really does thicken up the recipe. If you want it to be a little runnier, you could either omit some of the protein powder. You could take out some of the psyllium husk. I mean, up to you. If you do take out some of the psyllium husk, though, make sure you're putting in some kind of extra binder, either some more egg whites or... Um, if you want to put in some xanthan gum, anything like that that's going to keep it together. Otherwise, it could potentially just kind of fall apart. Okay, four on here. I'm going to flip them. This is always my biggest fear. I hate, absolutely hate flipping pancakes. And that's why I love baking, too. It's like you can get so creative with it. Try out your own recipes. See what works for you. That's kind of how I really got into it is... Um, I just tried things out. Half the time they would work, half the time they wouldn't. I never knew what was going to happen when I put this and this together. And it's really a nice learning experience. Kind of a good way to test out your own creativity and find out what you like. It's also a lot healthier than just going and buying anything at the store. And voila, you have a pumpkin pie pancake. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.